Hi, I'm Stuck, and this is Bounty Thursdays. This show is all about the bug bounty space, tools that come out, events, and all that nice stuff that surrounds AppSec and bug bounties. A quick disclaimer, any of the tools or tips or tricks that you see on this show is for educational purposes only and supposed to be used by application security and cybersecurity professionals. Know what you do before you fire any of these tools off. Even though this is a short show, only about five to 10 minutes, sometimes you want things to go a bit faster. Then you can use the chapters down here to move forward and find the thing that interests you. Other than that, let's get started. See, Shano is hosting the first ever bugbountyhunter.com hacking event, and it's named First Blood. It's a seven day event where bugbountyhunter.com members gets to hack and find bugs on a custom vulnerable medical website that he created. But there's a huge difference between a live hacking bug bounty event and this one. Because if you are a content creator, you can actually stream this while you hack, or you can create content that you can share and create and create stuff that you can share with the community afterwards. Because everything is allowed to be disclosed in this one. And it's not just training. It's, if you are the first one to submit a real bug, you will actually get paid and you will earn something called respect points. And respect, they aren't your normal kind of rep kudos, useless kind of VDP points, respects points are based around report quality, impact, and how well you communicated your finding. And Sishono has announced that respect points eventually in the real future will turn into something else more worth than just respect itself. Um, and if you want to know more about all the cool stuff that Sishiano has created and currently working on for this event, I will recommend you to head over to bugbountyhunter.com for the latest updates. This show is not sponsored by uh, the Nug Shampa brand, but I kind of wish. And I know that Pry wishes that too, because I, I got him addicted to using incense all the time. Man, I love me some good old incense. Have you ever ended up in a situation where you want to port scan a whole bunch of subdomains, but your scans take forever and you eventually just get blocked since a bunch of those hosts ended up having the same IP? Well, then Unimap has you covered. It's, it's built around Rust and, and Map, and Unimap will use its own technology to resolve all the subdomains that you have found and identify if there's any overlapping IPs. It will then launch a parallel nmap scan over those IPs and internally then correlate that data. So even, so even if you have a bunch of subdomains sharing the same IP, well, they will only scan once. And this is gonna save you a whole lot of time because those dash P nmap scans, well, they do take their time. Okay, Recon for the win now has action support, which means you can now take all that Automate the recon magic that Recon for the Win provides. We're, I mean, we're talking subdomain discovery, vulnerability checks, OSIN checks, directory fuzzing, dorking, port scanning, screenshotting, and all that jazz. But now in a distributed format. This is some really intense stuff. So before you fire this away, make sure you're staying inside the scope and that you know what you're doing before you're launching this sec session. And you can make sure that you, or, and make sure that you configure your config files in a way that, you know, maybe you will collect stuff passively, not always actively. There's a bunch of settings that you can fine tune on this one. And I definitely recommend you to play around with it and then go at scale. I love when people share stuff and I love when I learn new stuff too. So for the last 30 days, Rohit is going to share something that he defined as burp hacks. And for 30 days straight, he's going to share all these tiny nuggets, helping you to level up your burp and bug bounty game. It's filled with all these tiny, uh, you know, the life hacks like match and replace rules and how to interact with burp in a professional way. That's going to help you to level up your burp game. I had such a great time being on the hack chat together with Marco over at the Sentinel One YouTube channel. And if you want to see that conversation that we have around creativity, how I bug hunt and skidding my day and all that stuff, I will recommend you to check out this video here. Shop. There's going to be a bunch of really smart 
people getting on that show. Everything from blue team to red team to purple, and it's all focused about hacking and security. Awesome stuff. I met Ariel Garcia for the first time during the H1 5411 live hacking event in Buenos Aires, featuring HackerOne Verizon all the way back in 2018. And he has recently launched his own Twitch show called Bounty Talks, where he interviews hackers from the Latin American region in, and other Spanish-speaking countries, creating a space where Latin American hackers can share their approach to bug bounties, sharing knowledge and, you know, building community. I love what this guy does, and I guess it's time for me to finally get that time over to Aprende Español so I can keep up with the whole Latin American family. Are you curious how you can get started with some iOS or Android hacking? Well, good news everyone! The family behind Hacker 101 has dropped a bunch of new videos featuring even some workshops and training on how to get you started. So head over to hacker101.com to find all that stuff. And while you're there, give the JavaScript for hackers video a go. It's a video that I recorded in my San Francisco hotel hotel room, super jet lag after live hacking event, where I get in my noob ass schooled by Professor Tom Nom Nom on the basic basics around JavaScript. Super fun, we had a good time, so yeah, give that a go. This show is sponsored by no other than the amazing people over at Integrity. Thank you for supporting the show. And if you want to get started in hacking on some European companies and hey, get paid in euros, head over to go.integrity.com slash stoke and sign up today. You all know how much I love blind out-of-band attacks and how heavily I like to rely on my personal burp collaborator to log those requests. Well, now there's a free and super simple replacement for my burp collaborator from the kings of open source project discovery. It's called Interact SH and it features DNS, HTTP and SMTP support. It has both CLI and a web dashboard functionality. Um, you can try the, all of that up uh, out over at interact.projectdiscovery.io. Uh, but if you are like me and you prefer to use your own domain and self-host it, well, to get that long-term monitoring interactions and notifications on your Discord, Slack, and Telegram, all you need to do is to spin up, spin up the self-hosted version and you're up and running. Purchase a domain, get a VPS, spin it up, and you're, you're done in a few minutes. Any of the videos that I created earlier around out of band videos, scrap those, do this instead. This is the way to go. If you're into doing OSINT recon over at GitHub, I would recommend that you check out GitDorker. Oma Beda, the creator, did actually do a Black Hat talk on that just a couple of days ago. It's named GitDorker, GitHub Recon Simplified for Bug Bounty red teams and penetration testers. If you want to see that video, I will uh, I would recommend you to check out this card over here. Oh no, it's over here. Um, and, um, and look for that after the show. If you like the things that I do and you want to interact with me more, I will recommend that you head over to twitter.com slash dogfrederick, or you can find me on Instagram over at instagram.com slash dogfrederick. And if you want to be a Patreon and support this show even more, head over to patreon.com slash dogfrederick. And I would like to give some special appreciation to, to the following Patreons. They've been with me for a long time now and continue support of the show. Mad Labs go to Nikhil, Shapam, Robert, Jonah, Quas, Dan. Daniel Meisler, Sylar, Ayan Ayan, The Curious You, and Ben Sebastian. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. Thank you so much for supporting the show. And with that said, I think that's everything we have for today. So until next time, I'll see you around. Stay curious. <laughs>